The NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series will feature the Camping World 500 at Phoenix International Raceway in Arizona on Sunday, March 19th, with TV coverage on Fox. The Camping World 500 is the first of two NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series races to be held at Phoenix International Raceway. Last year, Kevin Harvick continued his mastery of Phoenix, starting 18th on the grid, but he led a race-high 139 laps en route to his first win of the season in a very close photo finish in which he held off Carl Edwards. Edwards was second after leading 65 laps, while Denny Hamlin was third. Pole sitter Kyle Busch led 75 laps and finished fourth, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. finished fifth, leading 34 laps. The Joe Gibbs trio of Bush, Edwards, and Hamlin started first, second, and third, and still no one had anything for Harvick, who won for the sixth time in eight straight races at Phoenix. Phoenix International Raceway is a one-mile track that is not banked very much. It is 10 to 11 degrees in turns one and two, then 10 to 11 degrees through the dog leg, eight degrees in turn three, eight to nine degrees through turn four, 8 to 10 degrees through the back stretch and 3 degrees down the front stretch. For only being a mile long, Phoenix is tricky for teams to set up their cars correctly. Teams almost never get the car set up perfectly for the entire track. Due to the low banking, the track is not that fast, but it is fast enough for drivers to make mistakes. Kevin Harvick's fourth win in the Phoenix Spring Race has him on top of the hill here with wins in 2016, 2015, and 2014 while Carl Edwards won in 2013 and Denny Hamlin took the flag in 2012. After Harvick, Jeff Gordon has the most wins at Phoenix with two, while no other driver has won this race more than once in the spring. Kevin Harvick's worst finish at Phoenix, counting the fall race since 2013, has been 13th place in the spring race of that year, and he has won three in a row now in this race. Jimmy Johnson might be a threat, as he has an average finish of 8.96 in 27 Phoenix starts and he has four wins, but only one of those has come in the spring race. So until further notice, Kevin Harvick is the safest pick at Phoenix and our pick to win this race. If you'd like to bet on motorsports including NASCAR, IndyCar, Formula One and more, there are two different ways to bet. You can bet on the outright winner of a race or the series and you can bet on who will win each individual driver matchup. You can place a bet on the winner of a race by clicking on Motorsports, then on NASCAR, IndyCar, or Formula One, then on Futures or Pick Winner prior to the race, and there you will find a list of drivers to bet on. If a driver is listed at positive odds of, for example, plus 750, that means you could win $750 by placing a $100 wager on that driver. A positive sign usually indicates somewhat of an underdog but rarely will you see any negative odds on a driver to win a race. If you do have a driver with a negative sign in front of their odds, for example, odds of minus 150, that means that they are a favorite to win and you would have to bet $150 on that driver to win 100. The second way to bet on motorsports is driver matchups between two drivers, where you only have to choose who will win the matchup between the two listed. Sometimes one driver may be favored over the other, indicated by negative odds, or the odds could be even on the drivers. You use the same rules as with the race winner and futures with plus and minus odds to calculate your payoff for each and every matchup. Subscribe now so you don't miss any of our NASCAR, Formula One, or IndyCar videos. And to get the updated betting odds video that will have our racing experts updated free picks and predictions. Click over now to check out all the motorsports odds on the board, including Formula One, NASCAR, IndyCar, and more. Make a few wages at BetDSI.com and enjoy the race.